on President Obama when it comes to fixing the economy. Chuck Todd is NBC's chief White House correspondent. Good morning to you, Chuck. Good morning, Meredith. Well, after not talking about the economy on Monday and taking a little bit of heat for it, he used his lone public appearance on Tuesday to reinforce the idea that he spends most of his waking hours worrying about the economy. I know there are some who believe we can only handle one challenge at a time. The president defended himself from critics who believe he's trying to do too many things at once during this economic crisis. And they forget that Lincoln helped lay down the Transcontinental Railroad and passed the Homestead Act and created the National Academy of Sciences in the midst of civil war. And while the financial markets got a boost from the news that Citigroup might be profitable again, the White House was cautious in its optimism. I want this comment not simply to be reflective of one company's progress in one day in the market, but that the, the president and his team are focused on a strategy that will stabilize the system. White House aides admit it's difficult to find a strong voice, other than the president's, that can inspire the same level of confidence in dealing with the economic crisis. In the midst of this crisis, Federal Reserve Chairman Ben Bernanke doesn't have the same perceived hold over Wall Street that his predecessor, Alan Greenspan, had in the 90s. The irrational exuberance. Though Bernanke's words Tuesday provided some comfort. There's a good chance that the recession will end later this year and that 2010 will be a period of growth. Treasury Secretary Timothy Geithner was hailed as a potential savior when Mr. Obama appointed him, but stumbled early. Now the administration is pushing him to make more public appearances, hoping to improve his PR skills. Tuesday night on the Charlie Rose Show, Geithner tried to explain why, so far, he's failed to impress either Wall Street or Main Street. It was always our intention to lay out that broad framework of strategy at the beginning so people could see the full scope of the strategy and then lay out the details. Now, you're right, expectations got ahead of the policy. Now, Matt, other than uh, Mr. Bernanke and Mr. Geithner, there's also two other people that the administration would like to see get out there more publicly. One is your next guest, Christina Romer, uh, and the other one is Larry Summers, who is a top advisor and former Treasury Secretary. All right, Chuck Todd at the White House.